In 2007, the IPCC, a United Nations organization created to assess climate change, found that there is a greater than 90% certainty that human activities are responsible for global warming. But what makes the IPCC so sure humans are the cause? There are a number of factors that allow scientists to identify human activities as the source of climate change. When human beings burn carbon-based fuels like coal and gasoline for energy, the carbon dioxide they release into the atmosphere is lighter than the carbon dioxide from other sources. On this chart, the thin gray line shows the increase in these lighter carbon dioxide molecules between 1981 and 2002. The thicker red line reflects the increase in overall carbon dioxide in the atmosphere in that same period. As you can see, the two lines overlap almost perfectly. Many natural and human factors influence climate. Energy from the sun, tiny light-blocking particles from volcanic eruptions and industrial pollution, and heat-trapping gases all play a role. Each one of these elements, called a climate driver, can be tracked independently. If you measure the changes in each driver over time, as is done in this graph, you can see that of all the various climate drivers, only heat-trapping gases have increased significantly and consistently over the past century. Furthermore, this data can be used to create models that predict what temperatures should look like if certain climate drivers are removed from the equation. The blue line on this graph predicts what global temperatures should have looked like between 1900 and 2000 if human activities like industrial pollution played no role in climate change. But as you can see, it doesn't match the actual temperatures, which are represented by this black line. When human factors are added to that same climate model, shown here as a yellow line, you can see it matches the actual temperatures far more closely. The boundary between the lower atmosphere, or troposphere, and the upper atmosphere, or stratosphere, has shifted outward in recent decades. Like global temperatures, this boundary, called the tropopause, changes based on natural and human influence factors, but a consistent outward expansion suggests recent warming trends are human-caused. In a scenario where natural solar activity causes warming, the tropopause would remain in largely the same location, as increased solar energy, shown here as yellow lines, would heat each layer evenly, as would solar heat reflected from the Earth, shown here as red. But in a scenario where human activity causes warming, energy from the sun is trapped by carbon emissions, warming the lower troposphere and blocking heat from the stratosphere. The warmer troposphere expands, pushing the tropopause outward like an expanding balloon. For a deeper explanation of the answers given in this video, please see the FAQ page on which it is based. The Union of Concerned Scientists is the leading science-based nonprofit working for a healthy environment and a safer world. For more information, see our website at ucsusa.org.